So, hello. Uh, today I would like to talk a bit about the uh, topic of uh, prototyping. Uh, I think I would like to divide uh, the topic of prototyping into two major steps. First step is uh, that when you have a business idea, you need to clarify what you want to do, uh, who is your customer, what are his needs, what is uh, your solution for the needs. Uh, and you can use uh, different methods and tools such as Lean Canvas, Business Model Canvas or uh, Human Centered Design. So when you actually know what your product looks like and uh, what solution it brings to uh, customers' uh, needs and problems, you can uh, actually uh, design how you're going to do that. So in this step, you create design of your product and you will test it. You will test it against your uh, customers and you will get some uh, feedback which will help you to uh, improve your uh, your product and uh, you should design your product based on the outputs you create in the first step of what so the second step actually is um, after the first step obviously uh, when you're designing your product you can use uh, tools such as uh, napkin sketch which is which is just a short uh, sketch on a piece of paper which will give you some idea of your of your solution uh, some uh, mock-up wireframe minimum viable product and so on so you have different types how you can uh, pro create a prototype or uh, idea of, of, of your of your product and then you start uh, testing your design and uh, here you can use different tools such as a b testing uh, this means that uh, you give your customers two possible uh, layouts or design of your product and your customers will uh, pick which uh, they prefer and then you will uh, use the more uh, likable one. You can make uh, some interviews with your customers and again you, get, you can get some feedback and uh, and uh, use it as, um, as uh, the good information for for uh, developing your your product and also you can use usability testing which actually is and this is more specific for software development and you uh, define some scenarios so let's say you develop an e-shop and uh, you get some scenario ordering a product and you say uh, to your customer now you have to order your product and uh, you just uh, look at your your uh, user and uh, you try to identify where, in which steps they have a problem which uh, screens are a bit hard to understand uh, for a user or for a customer and again you, you you make changes in your in your prototype and make it a bit a bit better uh, so when you're doing your prototypes you should start from simple to more complex uh, I just um, uh, used uh, two um, let's say examples of uh, prototyping um, first one is uh, first one is a bit of um, of a physical product so you start with some napkin sketch some like, some easy easy and uh, and uh, some overall uh, sketch you we can do some blueprint you can some you can make some uh, mock-up then you do some prototype and then you have a final product or you can for example make a new software new website and again you should you always start with some uh, basic sketch like napkin sketch you do uh, some wireframes and uh, you create a graphic design HTML prototype and the beta beta version and then you again uh, end up with a final product. Uh, those are 10 principles of prototyping that may, you make it interesting. Uh, you use uh, thinking of the beginner. Uh, this means that uh, don't limit yourself 
with your deep understanding of the problem. Try to uh, think about your product as total beginners, like that, or even a child can use it. Uh, don't stop at the first idea, create alternatives. So don't stick with the one idea and uh, create alternatives. And maybe you will be surprised that some of your alternatives are better than your first idea. Uh, stay in liquid state, which uh, means that uh, uh, be uh, open to uh, changes, uh, be open to feedback, and actually don't criticize others for other uh, uh, point of view than, than you actually, actually have. Start simple and iterate. This is very important. You start simple and you will make iterations, you will do changes again 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 and if you start from simple one uh, that you then uh, you actually don't lose a lot of time and money when you let's say make a radical change and you have to start uh, from just from the scratch again uh, confront your early design don't be afraid that maybe your early design your early idea is wrong and you need to change it and make it a little bit different to Pivot a bit. Learn by failure. This means that uh, if you fail, that's not wrong. It's good. A lot of successful people failed, but it is important for you to learn from the failure, to uh, get some experience, and next time uh, to make your product much better than before. Try to be creative. Create Shrek type of variants. Uh, what does it mean? It means that create even ugly prototypes sometimes you think this can't work no one will buy it but create this uh, variant and maybe you will be surprised that sometimes uh, you can be inspired from this uh, variant and uh, you can you can use it in um, making your prototype again a bit better and make notes so what you learn what you find of uh, from uh, your research and what you did before and uh, I would like to show you some case study, case study of new eShop and uh, new eShop in, uh, in our company. Uh, the, the goal was actually we need to um, implement new eShop because the old one was based on old technology and it wasn't sufficient enough for um, current uh, needs. So we were asked to actually prepare some uh, definition of new eShop and how it will look and what will what what functions it will have, and we started the five wireframes. Wireframes are very simple uh, sketch of uh, future software, so where you can see what uh, elements will be, will be there and what order of uh, elements will be there. Uh, you can see that uh, it's a little bit strange. It is because in uh, our company we go uh, with the principle mobile first. So we know that 70%, 60-70% of uh, potential customers come from, uh, from mobile phones. So we start a design actually from mobile phones and then we will make a variant for desktop version. But we start with mobile phones and I will recommend it to you as well because you, you need to think more about what information you will show to customers and uh, so you they won't be overwhelmed with information and uh, colors and so on so we in the first step we created wireframes of, of screens of the new issue uh, what will be there what will be the question uh, the functions and so on then we did uh, graphical um, graphical uh, prototype that it, it didn't actually work uh, it was just a graphical one so a lot of uh, more people will can imagine uh, how new eShop will look like and uh, maybe they will have again uh, new feedback and better feedback than before and uh, again we can change it and, uh, and make it a bit better uh, then we did, we did a HTML prototype where um, it, 
look the same because the graphic uh, point of view uh, was the same but now the screens were uh, linked and actually you could you could uh, go through some uh, some use cases some scenarios so we did a workshop with the uh, stakeholders and they went through scenarios like ordering a, a mobile phone and looking for exact mobile phone and finding some some uh, reviews and so on and uh, we try to get some feedback again if it is uh, easy to use if it is un understandable and so on and uh, then we did a minimum viable product which means that <coughs> we implemented um, a simple sim uh, simple prototype functional prototype but uh, with the basic functions so we didn't implement all of the functions but the most important one uh, and after the minimum viable product we actually will launch the full product and uh, and actual uh, customers can use it uh, in uh, in everyday business but the, the important thing is that uh, iteration never ends that uh, you don't stop with uh, getting feedback from your from your product after you launch it you still always need to get some uh, some feedback when you launch your product it's or software it's much easier to get more quantitative uh, type of data and validation so for example heat maps like uh, this one on the on this example and you can see where the customers are uh, clicking so maybe you will understand that they click on some uh, picture and they wanted to go somewhere but it's just a picture and maybe you will you need to you need to change it uh, and uh, as I said before, uh, iteration is very important. So in this uh, slide, you can see that we always start with wireframes, and uh, then we will change it to we will make it uh, to graphic design, HTML prototype, and minimum viable product. And when the feedback will come, and we will need to change, we need to change the 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 product the prototype we go again to the start the wireframes and again the process is the same so this iteration process that uh, the, we get the feedback and start over again it's very important in uh, in terms of of, uh, of getting your product your prototype much better than before and uh, I've created some exercise for you where uh, I would like you to create a logo for your business idea or product and uh, you can test it which one is better. You can use A-B testing so you ask people which design they like more and uh, you can see sometimes that you will be surprised that your typical customers maybe prefer a little bit different uh, graphic or uh, way to use of your product than you anticipated before and uh, maybe you'll be surprised uh, what, uh, what the outcomes are. So thank you for your attention and uh, see you in the next lecture.